Hey folks, it's Finn. It's been a while since I did a trans update, so here is one. I've had a lot of problems with the hookup part of my lower surgery. And in response to all my sharing about that, I've had a lot of questions lately as to if I regret having phalloplasty. Oh my God, no. No way, I seriously do not regret it at all. Yes, this is frustrating. Yes, I want to be able to pee normally. Yes, I want my third stage done. Yes, I want a life where I don't have to be recovering from surgery or waiting for surgery anymore. It is really, really frustrating. But the payoff is I've got a lovely penis and I love him. It's one of those things that only trans folk really get that although it seems like I made a choice to have lower surgery, there really wasn't any choice. When the choice is between gut-wrenching, anxiety-provoking, low mood-inducing dysphoria and painful surgery, I go for the painful surgery every time. Dysphoria is horrible. And surgery is a cure for that dysphoria, or at least a way to lessen that dysphoria. Any, I mean, dysphoria is a condition like any other. So if you think about any really serious, life-limiting, life-threatening condition, because dysphoria is, it takes lives, then lots of conditions have treatment that has very serious side effects. But nobody ever turns around and says, I don't want that medicine, I don't want that treatment because I don't want the side effects. Of course you say yes, because you are okay about risking side effects in the hope that your life is going to improve by going through that treatment. And that's exactly how it was for me. I reached a point where I knew I couldn't go through the rest of my life happily without a penis. After a lot of research, I was confident that the surgery was successful enough and developed enough that I felt okay going ahead. And importantly, I spoke to people who had had the inevitable complications that you're gonna get for such major surgery. And they all said one thing in common, no matter whether they'd had a little complication or a massive one, they all said the same thing, that complications end, penis remains, and they would not change it for the world. And that did it for me knowing that, you know, you can go through this awful thing and come out the other side and you don't regret all that pain and, and stuff. You know, that's what made my mind up. I am really stuck in limbo at the moment with my surgery, as you know. It is all very frustrating because I was ready for stage three a year, last January. Everything was fine. I was peeing fine. It was looking fine. It was great. And then they discovered an issue I wasn't even aware of when they took me in for stage three. And so since then, Peeing has just been a nightmare. I was undone and done back up again, but it's a, it's not right. It's dripping loads. I'm awake all night, weeing, and it's not very nice. But, God's honest truth, it's much better than it was before because I don't have the huge dysphoria. You know, this, this is the thing now. It's You have to kind of balance your expectations and manage those because... I would love everything to be perfect. It may well be that they go in and have a look in there for stage three and go, well, actually, there's no problems with your urethra whatsoever. For some reason, this is happening to you. As long as I know I've tried everything I can to get the best results and the best outcome, the rest of it, I've just got to accept and manage those expectations. If the rest of my life involved having a drippy willy <laughs> that I've got to wear a Incontinent shield on. I mean, I'm only wearing the thin things. It, it's not that big a deal. And they're black, which is amazing. If I've got to wear one of them for the rest of my life, but I still get to have a penis and stand to pee, I'm happy, you know. Of course you want a perfect penis. Who doesn't? You know, when anyone's thinking about anything they want, they want the perfect version of whatever that thing is. But that's set up for failure because life isn't like that. And I'm very aware of that. So... I just wanted to do the best I could for myself. It is a tough, tough journey. Again, I knew that as well. But no, I wouldn't change it. I knew I needed to go ahead. And as I said, even with the complications and issues I've got now, I'm 10 times happier than I was before I started this lower surgery journey. 
And that says a lot, doesn't it, considering how frustrating it is right now. I mean, last year when I was opened up and I had to pee from underneath, that was just hell. And actually, now, with this dripping, if it was a choice between Mr Christopher saying, well, we don't think we can rehook you up, it's not working, we can undo you, or you can just put up with the way things are, absolutely put up with the way things are, because being paranoid of the smell of wee and embarrassed about dripping is actually far less painful than the dysphoria. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's not easy. We don't have it easy, we don't. But this is why I share very honestly, because I think, you, you know, we have to think about these things, that we've been dealt this hand and there is only so much we can do about it. It's a balance between fighting and accepting and I'm fighting hard <laughs> to get the penis that I want and need to make my life more fulfilled and happy and dysphoria free. But life might have other ideas and I'll have to just work around accepting that. That was a bit long winded, wasn't it? Synopsis, absolutely no regrets. I love my willy. <laughs> I keep saying that so often, don't I? And I would not ever have made a different choice. I'm just glad I did all the research I did and waited the length of time I did because in doing so, it's made me much more prepared and able to handle it when things go wrong, which they inevitably will, but no regrets. No. I hope that helped. Hope it wasn't too much of a ramble and it made sense. If you'd like to ask me anything, please do drop a message in the comments below or you can message me over on Tumblr or Finn the Invincible page, Instagram. I'm a social media queen, so you can find me anywhere. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care of yourselves. Have a good week. Love you loads.